Hey there, Nick Jenthakis here. In this video, we're going to go over how to do file previews on the command line and within Vim using good old FCF. So I've done videos in the past about using FCF to reverse search your history with Control R, where you can basically just start doing a fuzzy match on your history and you can just rerun commands that you've run in the past. Really nice. Now, FCF actually does quite a bit more than that though. So if you run FCF from the command line with no other flags, it's just going to recursively go through that directory, give you a list of all the files. You can start doing any type of fuzzy matching that you'd like. And when you pick a file, it is going to print it to standard out. Now, that in itself might not be the most useful thing from the command line, but FCF comes with a couple of built-in binds. For example, you can hit Control T, and that is also going to list all the files in a directory, and then you can fuzzy match whatever you like here, and now it is going to let you, you know, potentially cat that file out if it's a file, or maybe you can CD into a directory, or basically do whatever you like to do with a file. But it also gets a little bit more interesting than that. Like, wouldn't it be nice if you can go to a directory and then get a real-time preview of these files uh, in an easy way? So FCF actually lets you do that with the preview flag here. And this preview flag, you can pass in whatever program that you'd like to do to do the previewing. For example, uh, you can just use something like less and you do need to put in the squigglies. Um, not really too sure why, but that's straight from the RAM pages here. But if you actually run FCF now using this preview, then take a look at that. You know, as I hit the up arrow here and go through these files, you know, we can see this little red arrow moving here, then we are getting a very nice real-time preview there on the right. And yeah, you can choose to fuzzy match uh, to filter things down and you can just get a filter or get a preview of all these files. And that's really nice, but we can actually make this a little bit better. For example, this file that I'm in here, uh, it's a little bit long, right? We can see on the right here that there are 274 lines, but we can only see the first, I don't know, whatever that is, right? 30, 40 of them. Uh, so wouldn't it be nice if we can like page down inside the preview as we're going through files uh, as we please? So FCF has uh, a couple of options for that. And by the way, before we get into those bindings, you know, less is not the only tool that you can use for this. For example, uh, you can use head, I think, and maybe just do like the first 30 lines. So instead of paging them, uh, now we're just gonna view the first 30 lines in the file there. You know, that could be useful if you're going through a directory where, you know, you maybe don't care about the full contents of the file, you just wanna see the first uh, couple dozen lines. And uh, it actually gets, a little bit more interesting too. So if you happen to be using the uh, bat tool, which is an alternative to cat to basically uh, show files, but you can actually do syntax highlighting. And by the way, uh, this topic came up very recently. I was on the changelog podcast a couple of weeks ago where we went over some modern Unix tools here. So this episode, I'll link to this one in the show notes if you want to check it out. But you know, we started uh, comparing things like cat versus bat and man versus TLDR and like a couple other tools as well. So yeah, uh, we'll check that out maybe in a bit or I'll leave a link to that one and you can check it out in a bit if you'd like. But where this comes down to now is like, well, you know, with this preview command here, you can just decide that if you want syntax highlighting, you can install the bat tool. I'll leave a link to that one in the description as well. And uh, now we can just say like, okay, uh, let's color always. And then we can just do this. And now check that out. We actually do have uh, syntax highlighting here, which does make things a little bit nice to read. Uh, when it comes to file previewing though, I don't know that sidebar there with a preview of the lines here, it just takes up way too much horizontal space. Now I am zoomed in a lot for the video, but still, you know, I kind of like to have that styled up a little bit differently. So there is a flag for bat here where you can always do uh, style equals numbers. And then we get a little bit more horizontal space here. We can see the sidebar isn't quite as uh, uh, protruded or whatever. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Um, I haven't gone all in with using bat yet. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that one, but I just wanted to demonstrate here that the choice is there if you do want to use something with, you know, syntax highlighting here in your previews. So yeah, for now though, in my dot files, I am using the less version. So and let me just point that out real quick here. Uh, yeah, this is off in my dot files now in my aliases file. So if you want to check it out, feel free to do so. You don't feel like you need to pause the video to uh, check these things out. Now, going back to what I was saying before about doing the uh, paging up and paging down in the file. So like, let's say you're using less. Um, and by the way, let me just do a type here because and type, by the way, lets you see the details of what an alias is because, you know, in your day to day, you're not going to probably go into a directory and just start typing out all of this when you just want to do a real time preview, right? So in my case, I actually made an alias here, which is up on my dot files. And uh, we can see the details of that alias is basically running this entire command here. So up until now, you know, we've done this stuff manually, but uh, with FCF, you can actually put in custom key binds for certain actions that you want to do. For example, in my case here, uh, well, actually, let me just demonstrate using it first. And, you know, it's the same thing as before, but now if if I actually hit shift and the down arrow, then it is going to page up and down 
uh, through this file that we're previewing. So to me, this feels like kind of nice because I can just hit the up arrow and down arrows here to go through the files. But it's like, you know what? I actually want to take a look at more of this file so I can just page down using uh, shift up and down as I please. You know, that's a little bit nicer than going one line at a time. Uh, if, if for whatever reason you didn't want to page up and page down, but instead you just wanted to do um, up and down, you can just get rid of the page here in both of these. And then it is going to do uh, preview up and down instead. So like now if I hit shift down, you can see it's going down one line at a time instead of the full uh, page at a time. Uh, honestly, I prefer the page one, a little bit easier to skim things. And chances are if you're in preview mode, like you just want to see stuff quickly, skimming is the way to go. But again, super easy to change that. Also, if you don't like using the shift up and shift down as the actual keys that you want to use, you know, you could change that to be whatever you'd like. You can use uh, control dash or just maybe um, some other modifier, basically whatever you'd like, right? And yeah, so that is how things are set up in my aliases file. I have this all good to go. So then, you know, instead of having to type that out, we can just do PF here and uh, yeah, I get the same things here. I can do shift up and down for paging and uh, that is good to go. Now, I did mention too that you can do this real-time preview inside of Vim as well. This will depend on having RipRep installed. Uh, if you're following up with my dot files and everything is already good to go here, but you know, let's just say for whatever reason, I just wanted to do a search for DB or something like that. So we can see here that as I up and down through the results here in Vim, we are getting a real-time preview there on the right. It also happens to be automatically colored up using the bat tool because I do have bat installed and the Vim plugin automatically uses uh, bat here to do the output of that, which is kind of nice. Yeah, again, not 100% sold on bat yet. I may remove it, I may keep it, we will see possibly dedicated video on that one later. Also, I understand the real-time real, real -time preview here is a little bit hard to read because the font size is so big, but with my normal font size, it's actually quite nice. And you know, maybe I'll just show you that uh, real quick here. Uh, actually, no, because I've turned on recording mode with a different alias that sets my default font size. So it's a little bit harder to zoom out to the exact size of what I use. I think, no, yeah, this is my normal font. Nope, what is it? Oh, yeah, this is my normal font size. So actually, if I quit this, open up Vim, uh, and then I'll just do that same search for DB or whatever. Yeah, we can see, you know, you can see quite a bit more of the results here. And uh, yeah, so that is basically it when it comes to uh, real-time previews on the command line within well, Vim and the command line, I'm <laughs> using, uh, yeah, FCF. It's a really powerful tool. You know, that's just one of many little things that FCF can do. Lately, I've been doing this file preview quite a bit. So yeah, I figured now would be a great time to make a video about that one. So if you have any questions about how to get this set up, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all of them. On that note, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.